I can't believe what's inside Mobile One oil filters versus Ferrari OEM oil filters. I'll even include Honda OEM, Toyota OEM, AC Delco, and Motorcraft. Guys, you're not going to believe this one. The Nissan filter is made in Mexico, while the Toyota filter is made in Thailand. The Honda filter is made in the USA. Mobile One's extended performance filter, 99% efficiency. Synthetic blend media for the Mobile One filter. Well guys, can it compare to the AC Delco or even Motorcraft? We've included this Mobile One filter to give you guys a good reference and to see something really cool. Now let's check out the base plates for the AC Delco which is blue and the Motorcraft which is the white base plate. You can see they're both highly quality steel construction. The left we have the Nissan base plate and the right we have the Honda base plate. Both seem to be made of high quality materials on the base plates. I typically don't find a problem unless it's a rust or quality issue. You can check out these base plates as well for the Mobile One on the right side and on the left side we had the Toyota base plate. Now let's go ahead and check out these gaskets as they're made of a natural rubber. You can see for the Toyota they actually cake and grease all over it. This would probably keep you from having to apply oil when you tighten it on to the engine. Now at least they do cover it up with this plastic heat shrink. Now let's check out these other natural gaskets as they would all appear to be made of a natural rubber. Again on the left we have the Nissan natural gasket and on the right we have the Honda natural gasket. There appears to be a gunk that's built up on the Honda natural gasket. Guys, I've seen this gunk build up on many oil filters. So this is one of the best telltale signs of quality concerns or issues that you may have with a product. Now, if something destroys your engine, typically it won't do it instantly, so you definitely won't be able to prove much of anything. And yes, you'll hear people say, use this oil filter or that oil filter. It really doesn't matter, but in fact it does. Well, these appear to be made of a natural rubber as well for the Motorcraft on the right and the AC Delco on the left. Y'all just let me know what oil filter you would like to see next, even one for your particular vehicle. We have the Mobile One on the right and the Toyota on the left. We'll check out these anti-drain back valves. This keeps the oil from draining out of the engine oil filter. This way your crankcase fills up faster with engine oil and it doesn't have to fill the entire filter up first. Honda on the right, Nissan on the left. As you can see, they appear to be about the same quality. Now I will say there are a little bit harder gasket. However, these gaskets appear to be much softer. AC Delco left, Motorcraft right. Let's check out the stamp piece of steel used to hold the components inside the oil filter housing in place to work properly, such as the filter media, and anti-drain back valve for the Mobile One. Now you can see the Toyota filter uses a stamp piece of steel as well. It's just like a pop can as I said. Um, really isn't that strong. I really do not like this design. I've shown in previous videos why and how it can cause major problems. Check out the oil bypass valve used to help the engine if it's clogged up or if you're in really cold climates and you need that engine oil flow. I've noticed this guys, you can see it comes apart really easily. This thing was manufactured in Thailand and I don't really see a major problem with this filter, but I will say it was probably put together mostly by hand. That's just my take on it. I'm not really seeing that as being an issue though. Let's go ahead and move on so we can get closer to checking out this Ferrari oil filter. And we've made it to the Honda. 
Well, and use your typical stamp piece of steel and a plastic or nylon pop it. Now, as for the stamp steel for the Nissan filter, I will say made in Mexico, but this stamp steel seems to be the strongest so far out of all of them. Now, I've seen these before, like on this Motocraft stamp piece of steel, and it's pretty flimsy, not as strong as the Nissan. Now, for the AC Delco, yeah, it's definitely somewhat flimsy as well, just like a pop can tab or something, not very strong. Well, let's set this Ferrari filter out here. I want to check this one out, guys. What about the quality of this AC Delco filter? Top and bottom steel end caps. It has a steel center tubing, which is very nice. It says to offer superior engine protection. Removes engine damaging particles. Well, I would hope so. And you can see they use a string for the Motocraft filter. They claim high quality filters anti-drain back valve, quality materials, nothing special here. As you can see, any major differences, they both use steel center tubes. I do like how the oil bypass valve is actually made into the filter for the AC Delco. That's always a plus. I'm not really a big fan of the string deal. I've only seen that done before with Fram oil filters. Now they do use a steel rib on the side for the AC Delco, or I'm sorry, Motocraft filter, and I do like that advantage. And it had its oil bypass valve actually made in the top of the filter, which is actually a good design to a lot of people. The Nissan filter with a steel top and bottom end cap seems to be made of high quality materials. Unfortunately, look at this gunk all over it. They do have one advantage I see there. They have a steel poppet for the oil bypass and it's made inside the filter. Guys, you don't have to worry about this coming free, which could be a major issue with other oil filters, but it was really sloppy and dirty. Now you can see this filter. We have the Honda and it seems to look very similar to a Fram can of death. Let's go ahead and move on to the Toyota filter. This one looks really nice and clean. It actually reminds me of some of the SuperTech oil filters. The filter media appears to be made of uh, similar materials uh, as the rest. But let's check it out a little bit closer. It's that steel center tubing. As I said in the past, you could see that I was able to take out the oil bypass valve and completely piece it out. Now we'll be able to pull out the steel center tubing and typically I wouldn't be able to do this with most other filters. I don't really see it being a major problem, but would I pay top dollar for this filter? Absolutely not. Would I use this filter in my vehicle? Yeah, I would use that filter in my vehicle. I don't see it being an issue, but it wouldn't be my first choice. Now. You can see this other filter guys, the Mobile One, and check out the oil bypass valve on it, top and bottom, uh, steel caps, also has steel center tubing, and it has a steel rib on the side, quality materials, the pleats are pretty well even all around except maybe one beside the steel rib that gives it extra support. We're about to check out the Ferrari oil filter, the moment of truth. But first, let's check out these Toyota and Mobile One housings, guys. I mean, really, look inside the Toyota. It has that gunk that I said that I've seen a lot on many filters. It must be a result of the manufacturing process. It actually looks like it comes from the filter media itself. Now, I have seen some, though, with more of a white crust. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen other oil filter videos before, they don't seem to be too flimsy for the most part. Most of these housings actually seem pretty solid. Now the bigger ones, um, 
not so much but I've noticed when they're really big like this they're typically not that hard to try to squeeze in definitely not like a Fram they can be for sure the worst filters now here we are the moment of truth Ferrari guys this is the most expensive engine oil filter that I've ever seen and I've been wanting to test a Ferrari out and you can see the base plate nothing really special about it seems to be strong construction high quality steel this oil filter was over 50 bucks for this little guy I mean check out this large natural gasket I mean it's huge even in comparison with the biggest gasket we have here motorcraft definitely no comparison the Ferrari gasket blows it out of the water now a $50 oil filter and this is the most inexpensive one that I can actually find to test out natural rubber nothing great about this let's go ahead and move on yes they actually use a spring instead of a stamp piece of steel but it's probably the worst looking spring I've ever seen I suppose it gets the job done well maybe they'll make up for it let's go ahead and check out the filter media well the end caps they're made of steel top and bottom typical the filter media itself seems to be no different than what we previously looked at with these other oil filters now the pop is made of plastic there is a steel spring inside for the oil bypass as I said the poppet for the oil bypass is made of a plastic and the steel center tubing all seems to be good quality materials so is there anything special about it steel rib not really I'm not seeing it so where's all this money going it appears we may be paying for the brand itself guys I'm not so sure about this but we'll take a little bit closer look because I'm curious to see can they really justify what they charge for these parts or am I right is it all about the name don't get me wrong I love Ferraris one of my favorite cars probably never drive one but nevertheless now let's check out the housing maybe there's some gold plates inside as you can see uh, squeeze is pretty easy not really all that strong look at that the overspray I've never even seen this one before overspray on the writing no big deal on the outside right a little extra paint dots here and there but look on the inside even overspray of the paint on the inside not a big deal either but it could be a sign quality is not a concern thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto